What's up, Tim Sykes here. I uh, wanted to do a video lesson just on this choppy market just so that people can adapt. Um, leave a comment underneath this video if at any point during the video you understand my point um, because trading is all about adapting. Uh, a lot of people who are using the same strategies that worked in 2020 in 2021 are getting annihilated. Just ask several Discord promoters who are hiding out in Mexico from the feds. Um, they're trying to do what they did in the past. It ain't working. You must adapt or perish. Um, you know, for me, I had a $300 loss basically on my weekend trade. Disappointing, but it was an energy play. Uh, there was an opportunity actually to make a profit, but you know, when there's so little um, like razor thin opportunity there, I don't care whether I have a small gain or a small profit. I cut losses quickly. I play it safe. Um, still up 65,000 year to date. Not too bad. Um, I did end up green on the day by like 200, 300 bucks. Um, PDPG was a nice spiker. HALB was a little disappointing. Um, CASA, congrats to anybody uh, riding this one. You know, this had a nice deal uh, with a big company this morning. But more importantly, it's a short squeeze. Um, as I often say, you know, short sellers are like angry vegans. Um, they shout at the top of their lungs that they're short sellers to anybody who will listen, even if you don't ask. Uh, because they think that they're better than everybody else. They're, they're you know, more noble. Um, statistically, they're right, right? Like a lot of these short sellers short these companies because these companies are fundamentally flawed. The problem and the reason why I don't short sell um, right now, you know, the only stock I've short sold in the past two years is Robinhood, and I actually had a small loss on it. Um, it's just too crowded. There's too many wannabe shorts. And CASA, you know, I don't know why you're shorting this. All the angry vegan-esque short sellers uh, we're, we're, you know, just yelling about this company right in here in the fives and the sixes saying it's overvalued. It doesn't deserve this. Now it's closing in the sevens or seven ish. We'll see how far it can go. Um, I just want you to not, you know, think that just because a company's fundamentals are bad, that means that it has to be a bad short. Um, or just because it's a, a bad fundamental company, that means that it's not a buy. LCLP is the biggest percent gainer uh, on low price stocks. You know, this is a former supernova. Terrible 100-day chart, terrible 200-day chart, but if you scroll out over a year, it has spiked big in the past. So I'm watching this one. Um, I'm watching CASA. I'm watching LCLP. I'm traveling right now, uh, getting ready for Earth Day. Uh, you might not know it. It's April 22nd. We have some big uh, news on my charity front uh, with NFTs. And in case you didn't realize, I made this video... Uh, on yesterday, on, on Sunday, I'll, I'll post this on Tuesday. Sorry, I'm traveling. All my time zones are all messed up. But I made this video on Sunday um, about the NFT club that I have. Um, if you click the link below, you can join my NFT club. There's just a few spots left. It's going fast. Um, there's a limited amount. Like, that's what NFTs are all about. But if you watch this video, that? um, that's, you know, people didn't like it because they're, you know, they're anti-NFT. Once upon a time, I was anti-NFT. So I understand the hate, I understand the assumptions. I did an about face. I turned and now I'm embracing NFTs. When I made this video, I mean, this was, this was what, 27 hours ago, 28 hours ago from where I'm making this video. Moonbirds, the floor price was 12.69. As of right now, Moonbirds is 19. And in case you want to do the math, 19 minus 12.69. And they came out at two and a half, by the way. Um, but this is in Ethereum 6.31. Uh, it's gone up in Ethereum, and Ethereum is basically around 3000 So it's gone up $18,930 um, in basically 27 hours, if you had a Moonbird from when I made that video until this video. And who knows you know, where it goes. I, I think that a lot of it is just hype, but this is the biggest NFT launch. It just happened this weekend. So you know, some people are like, oh, the, the S&P is so slow. Oh, the, the NASDAQ is so slow. We've come up so far. Uh, a lot of this is just a lack of perspective. I mean, look how far the NASDAQ has come. This is in two years. The world isn't that good. It, the economy is not that good. Business is not that good. A lot of this is just stimulus money. And stimulus money is in the hands of morons. Uh, and, you know, as some sayings go, a fool and his money are quickly parted or are soon parted. And that's what's happening. Uh, you got a lot of moron money that just deserves to be lost. I'm sorry to be harsh, but that's the reality of the situation. Um, so I don't know how hard we fall, but things ain't looking good based on Russia, based on inflation, based on, you know, more on money. Um, 
there's just a lot of bad stuff going on. And yet, LCLP, I probably should be buying this right now instead of making this video. Um, nice close today. Um, closing right at the highs. CASA looks like it's closing at the highs too. So, you know, there are some opportunities. But part of the reason why I got into, you know, the whole NFT world is there's just so much more. Like, okay, let's say you buy the CASA, um, you know, morning breakout over the highs here. You're in at 568. Okay, you're up you know, what, 15, 20% LCLP. Let's say you buy the morning breakout here. I mean, this one is actually like 40%. But again, with Moonbirds, it's just more. Um, and that's just one example, you know, not to mention that Moonbirds comes with like, you know, real world benefits versus these stocks. They're probably all going to fail. So all I'm saying is adapt. If NFTs are moving, trade them, um, you know, or learn about them at least, right? Like, this is the time to learn. I just gave a challenge webinar earlier today, and I said there's there's two kinds of markets. One market to earn, which you know I think was much easier in 2020 and 2021, and then another market to learn. Both markets are useful. You just have to do the right thing at the right time. Put the right emphasis on the right syllable. Um, if you try to earn in a market that's made for learning, you're going to be disappointed. If you try to learn and the market's like a bubble and you should just be trading, you're going to be disappointed. So I think it's good to get in harmony uh, with what's going on in the world. And that's why I'm, I'm pushing my NFT club. Some people say, oh, stop promoting your NFT club. No, I'm just getting started. If you didn't watch my NFT presentation, I'll post it below. It's free. You can see why I'm so pumped about NFTs with a big upcoming news catalyst where tons of people are going to come into the niche because of Coinbase. Other, uh, you know, big companies are getting involved too. Like this is early days for NFTs. Yes, many of them will fail. Yes, many of them are junk. Same thing with crypto. Same thing with penny stocks. But you go where the money is, right? Like I always focus on big percent gainers. Moonbirds is the biggest percent gainer. And by the way, I didn't buy Moonbirds. I'm still learning. If you do join my NFT club, you get alerts from one of my students, Adam. He's made seven figures on NFTs. He's teaching me. So I'm not too proud to say, oh, I don't know everything. You know, I don't know about this niche yet. I'm learning, but I started my NFT club. It has a real world benefit of being attached to my upcoming in-person conference. And stay tuned, like I said, for Earth Day, we have some charity announcement, charity NFTs. I think NFTs can raise a lot of money for charity and do good. Um, so we're trying everything, but you really need to adapt. Study more, go out, travel more, hang out with friends, whatever you want when the market is slower. Uh, but there are opportunities. LCLP is one. Oh, CASA actually just broke out by a little bit. It's so choppy. I don't mind missing CASA uh, also. Like it's, I wouldn't have lasted throughout this chop. You know, it wasn't a very clean breakout. Um, LCLP, I probably should be long right now to tell you the truth. But I'm traveling. I don't think I'm even going to have Wi-Fi at the market open. So I'll post this when I, when I can. Also, GMER, the little wannabe NFT play. Uh, that's up nearly 50%. PDPG is up 50%, but fading aside from the morning spike is done. Nothing. Hey, CYBL is coming back a little bit up 13%. So there are some plays, you know, you just have to tone your expectations down and have the proper perspective. Um, I said this during, you know, my challenge webinar, like if you got started in 2017, 2018, 2019, it was a slow market, but you had time to prepare for 2020 and 2021. Now, if you miss 2020 and 2021, you're starting in 2022. It's not so pretty. Now you have more time to prepare for later in 2022 or 2023 or maybe 2024 when the market is hotter again. Um, don't waste a year. Don't waste a month. Don't waste a week. The sooner you start learning and whether you learn part time or full time, um, the sooner you can begin earning later on. Um, but you need that mastery. You need that foundation of education first. So this is why I teach. Um, click the link below to study my NFTs. I'll have a second link below if you want to join my challenge. That's where all my millionaire students are coming from. They get two, three, four live webinars a week. I just gave my webinar earlier today. I actually have to get going. Congrats to CASA Longs, especially if you dip bought. I was thinking about dip buying, but there was just no true panic either. So I didn't really get the pattern that I wanted. Um, but congrats if you're in LCLP. Congrats if you got a Moonbirds. Let's see. I'm going to refresh this. Let's see if it can hit 20 floor price. Oh, still at 19. Anyways, you know, try everything, okay? Try different strategies. Be open to learning before you risk your hard-earned money. That, I think, is the biggest thing. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you're going to adapt to the market, if you're going to study, 
wherever there's opportunity. Understand the average millionaire has seven streams of income. So don't be narrow minded when it comes to potential money making. But again, study up, get prepared before you risk a single dollar. Thank you.